Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Hamas Foodie Friday. My name is Jessica and um, the husband is out of commission right now. <laughs> so it is just me, you guys. It's just me. So I'm going to pull back my hair. Tonight, uh, we are actually making chicken pot pie. Um, he's very excited about this. He actually did his part for me. I'm just pulling back my hair, but um, I am really excited to, to, to do this for you because we are making homemade um, crust for it. My husband absolutely loves the crust that I do. Um, so if you are watching here on the live, let us know down below in the comments, okay? You're going to see that live red button there. If you don't see that, then you know that you're watching it on the playback. Drop a two in the comments. And of course, if you're brand new, drop a three in the comments, okay? So I am going to go ahead and get started. As I said, um, today it is just me. <laughs> um, the husband is out of commission, you guys. Um, I will just kind of turn the camera. <clears throat> So he is kind of out of commission. Um, he has some eye issues going on right now and he has actually spent uh, most of the morning at the doctor. He was uh, sent to the optometrist because he, he had something going on with his eye. It wasn't an eye infection. Um, uh, it, it appears like he has like a, a small tear on the eye and uh, possibly like an ulcer. So they gave him a medication drops that he has to put in his eye every two hours. And um, he has a follow up on Monday. So I put one of my sleep masks on him that the little gel parts you can put in the fridge and it felt really good with his eyes so I knew he'd fall asleep. But he did his part, okay? So first thing is real quick, I am going to go ahead and wash my hands. I am very excited. Um, I'm going to bring over what he did already, and I'll let you know what, what all he did. But I'm going to wash my hands real quick because I've touched my hair and everything, and we are making crust. So I hope that you guys are having a really amazing day today. Hopefully it's a good weekend. Um, it is very beautiful here in Texas today. Most of the week it's been rainy, um, but it's about 80 degrees where we are living at. If you live closer to the water, it's probably going to be a little bit cooler, but um, it's, it's really nice here. Third week of January and we have 80 degree weather. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, so pie crust, okay? Do you ever struggle with making a good pie crust? I know that my mother always did, I'll be honest, um, whenever she made crust, uh, the crust on the outer edges would always burn, um, it'd be really hard, it'd be really crispy, and a good, good pie crust is one that is um, soft, nice and flaky, but still fully cooked, okay? And I do kind of have a secret with it. Um, this is something that I was taught back in my 20s from one of my friends, and I thought it'd be cool to share it with you guys. Okay, so the first thing that we start with is we have two cups of flour, okay? So I have my, I have my flour right here, yes, Everything is labeled in my pantry, you guys. <laughs> that is uh, the green organization fan of myself. So we are just getting two cups of flour, okay? And I'm telling you, there's, there's a good secret on how to get really nice crust. So just two cups of flour and then one cup of Crisco. Um, I, I like getting these, these nowadays, okay? You can get uh, Crisco in the little containers here. One is actually one cup, so I don't have to, you know, uh, scoop it out and everything like that. But this is one 
full cup, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put that in with the flour. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a half a cup of cold water real quick, okay? And then I will show you this little trick. All right, we're gonna grab a fork because we do need a fork. But we are going to put this water right here. There we go. So what we're gonna do, watch out baby, watch out. Gonna bring you down here a little bit. Now what, what you do is with your Crisco that you have and your flour, you need to get it all nice and soft. No ma'am, mm -mm. sorry. This is not something that you can do today. It's very specific when it comes to mommy's crust. But, whew, I will be teaching this to you when you get older so you can know how to make really good crust. Okay, but I will need your help at one point because I'm gonna I'm gonna have your help with that. Okay, can you go pull back your hair? Because if you're gonna help me in the kitchen, then we gotta have our hair pulled back. That's something that I've been teaching the girls that when you are in the kitchen, you pull back your hair if you have long hair, <laughs> and they are both getting long hair. So we're just kind of mashing this up a little bit trying to see if I can, there we go, perfect. So you mash it up really well, okay, first off. And then next what you do with your crust, you have this half a cup of cold water, okay? You don't just dump it in there, you just do a little at a time, okay? and you're starting to mash it together. This is the secret, okay? Don't just throw it all in there because then it won't come together real nice. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just gonna get it all put together here because we have some of that extra flour here on the bottom. All right. So the Crisco that I like to use is a buttery Crisco, okay? So now, can you get my marble rolling pin after you get your hair done? So then what I do is I knead it with my hands, hence why my hands and everything are clean. Both hands, okay? Do you need to get your stool? Be careful, it's heavy. It's heavy. Get your stool. <laughs> I'm having her get the marble rolling pin It's heavy, honey. Be careful. You got it? Okay, hold on. Oh. I'll get one inch. Here. Both hands. I know. It's heavy. Bring it over here. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Yep. All right, keep both in place. All right, so, no. so what I need your help with now is I need you to put some flour on my mat. Okay? Need more than that. Give me a full scoop. Give me a full scoop, boo-boo. That's good. No, it's okay. You don't have to measure it. Okay? All right. So then what you do is you take your crust out, okay? So this is one for one pie, okay? This is a bottom and a top crust. I will only do one at a time. I do not double the recipe. Um, it kind of makes the crust not nice and soft, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm just adding some flour to it and now we're gonna knead the dough, okay? You knead the dough to where, number one, it's not continuously to be sticky. Can I play with flour? But at the same time, yes, you can play with a little bit of flour. But at the same time, it doesn't get hard, okay? So it's literally all a texture feeling when you are making this. Get a bowl. Get a bowl and put some in it. Okay? Oh, 
okay? So it's a little sticky here, so I gotta add just a little bit more, more flour to the top and to the bottom. Can you turn on the light to the kitchen, please, baby? Perfect, there we go. Thank you, boo-boo. The sun kind of just moved outside, so we kind of lost a little bit of light there. All right, I'm gonna need some more flour. I'm gonna need some more flour, baby. It's just a little bit. Yeah, maybe the whole thing. All right. So now I'm just gonna spread a, spread some flour on my mat because it's pretty much all kneaded, ready to go. I split my dough in half. So I have a top crust and I have a bottom crust. And we're just gonna put the top crust off to the side for a minute. Grab your rolling pin, whatever kind of rolling pin that you have, that you use. I actually have two. This is my marble one. I prefer to use a marble one because it stays nice and cold and it doesn't stick as bad, <laughs> um, whereas my other is ones can't. Is this good? Yes, that's fine. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and roll out this dough so that it'll go in our pie tins. Uh, today I have two pie tins. I only have two. <laughs> I used to have a few more, but um, one is a red one. Yeah, be careful, okay? One is like my apple one, and then my other one is an orange one that is for like pumpkin pie, but my pumpkin pie one is a nice deep dish, so that's going to be cool. So sometimes when you're rolling out, <laughs> when you're rolling out your crust, I'll be honest, it'll kind of break on the edges, so you just have to be really careful when you, when you are rolling. If you have to put some extra flour over your rolling pin then that's what you need to do okay because you want to try to stop it from doing that try to get it in a circle you know more in a circle pattern as much as you can to fit your pan okay so we have our pan put a little bit of flour in the bottom so that your crust doesn't stick to the bottom when you do this okay then you take your crust and you divide it in half. I always bring my dish more towards me so when I pick it up it doesn't break like it just did a little bit there. You just have to lift it very gently and then put it in your pan. Now if your crust breaks a little bit in the center, just kind of squish it together, okay? It is okay. And then just make sure to get all the way up on the edges don't worry about the like the top just make sure to get your edges all the way up okay so then when you put your when you put the chicken pot pie you put your filling in there you're good to go okay there we go there we go All right, so we have one crust done, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this other one that was gonna be my topper, and I'm gonna make this into my bottom one for my other one, and then we'll make a separate one that's for our top crust, okay? Now, if you don't wanna put a top crust on your chicken pot pie, you don't have to. Um, this is our actually our first time. Chicken pie again? No, making a chicken pot pie. Um, my husband, Kenneth, always had, they had chicken pot pie a lot when they were younger. Um, his nanny made it and he loved it. I know some people that like to make chicken pot pie like smaller ones and have those uh, smaller, like smaller bowls that they do that with. All right. So we've got the other crust that is ready. Slip that into my, my yeah, other one my here. It's getting don't everywhere. Be, don't else, be. So okay. I got another mat. Okay, just be careful, okay? <laughs> She's over here playing in the flower. The texture thing for a sensory child. 
All right. If you're always cooking and your child wants to play with flowers, then just give them some. Just give them flowers? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully we have enough flour here because, you know, you took a lot of flour. I can put some back. We need flour for our recipe, boo-boo. I can put some back. I'm going to put on. some back. There's one cup. We need to buy some more flowers. Fill that cup. <laughs> and while she does that, we're going to go ahead and get another Crisco. And, we'll have some and flour get that put anymore. in. And then when Daddy wakes up, dinner will be ready. <laughs> I'll wake him up here in a bit. Okay, did you get it? Okay, that's good. We're good. I just need one cup. You should need the something. You're good. You're good. Thank you. What do you do that much flour anymore? All right. So, we are just going to mix. No, I need that, baby. You can play with the extra flour when we're done, okay? Because there's always some extra flour. On there with the rolling pin? Yeah. All right, so we're just mixing this up again. Can you get me some cold water? How do I do it when I have flour? Okay, I will get it. I think I have a towel. I have a, I put a towel you right here. You have a towel? So I put it right here and then when you need me to do something, I can do it like this, okay? All right, so we got our half cup of cold water so that I can start slowly putting that in the crust. So the key is cold water and putting Daddy's it in snoring. slowly. Daddy's snoring like that. That's okay. Just leaving me. That cold thing feels real good on his eye. It does make him fall up. His eyes have been so itchy, so hopefully the medicine that the optometrist put him on will work and be okay. Okay, so this is very gooey. Ooh, so can I feel? <laughs> I am going to put a little bit of flour with it already. It's very gooey. Gooey, stooby, cooby, looby. Yep. Fooby. All right. I don't need this bowl. There you go. I can put it. All right. So now we're gonna knead right. the dough again, kind of almost like what a cat does when they're purring and they got their feet on you and they're kneading their feet against you. It's kind of almost the same thing. Yeah. Except it's not fur and everything. What are you doing? I'm getting the bowl. For what? This child is creating more dishes for me always, right? What? <laughs> what? What did I say? Huh? What? What? What did you say? You're creating more dishes and more work for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so now that it's nice and soft, what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and divide it in half because now these are going to be our two top crusts. You gave me an idea of this bowl. I'm like, ooh, I should get a bowl and then put it in there yeah. and then play with it. Okay. And then at the end, I should put it down on that mat. So you can, you can create whatever crust that you want on your pot pie. You can do circle, you can you can um, do whatever layer you it want. with strips. Do whatever you can you make want. it all very decorative. Okay. Whatever you really feel like doing. My husband wants the traditional, so that is what we're doing. Okay. So then the next thing that you want to do 
with your, your pie tins, okay? Then you need to take a fork, make sure to put holes in the bottom, okay? So your crust can breathe. Breathe? Yep. All right, Bobo, you gonna come help me now? Sure. Okay, I need your help. I'm gonna have you scoop our yummy food into this. Okay? Here you go. Ah! Yep. Are we talking about like how you hold it? So now we are just putting this, putting our filling in. Okay, so Kenneth made the filling before he laid down. All right. Take the rest. Yep. So I'm going to tell you how to make that. And of course, we will post the recipe too. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the top on. If you don't want to watch it, you can just read it. <laughs> I don't know how to read still, but I'm working on All it. All right, so we're gonna crimp the sides. I'm flatting this up. Bring it over here. Flour and okay, flatting. Stop. stop. Okay. So I am just bringing the edges together. Okay. Being, you know, still being careful. Is he outside? Okay. If he's outside, please let him back in. I just heard him bark. He's ready. If you have a little extra, you can always take it off the edges there. Because if you need a little bit more in certain Mommy. spots. Go get Dodger, please. What? Um. <laughs> there we go. So if you need a little, you know, a little extra. Kenneth. Yeah. I'm live. Bye. You're snoring. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't snore. You don't snore? Nope. All right. So we have one completed. So then what I'm going to do, yes, go ahead and, and you go ahead and tell them something while I wash my hands. I got a new singing mini. Yay. a little bit so if you want to make a design you can make a design okay. so that is one one done all right so what we did for for the filling okay the filling absolutely tastes amazing we already tried the filling it tastes exactly Lime yummy chicken pot pie so so yummy okay so we did a double batch because we wanted two two pie tins um so you have you have your skinless chicken breast yes so you put butter in your large skillet over medium heat and once your butter's melted you add your chicken okay your chicken that's already cut up into bite-sized pieces 
um, your carrots, your celery, your onion, your salt, garlic powder, thyme leaves, and pepper. And you cook it for about eight to 10 minutes until your chicken is cooked thoroughly. Okay, so what we used is we used a bag of, we used a bag of frozen peas and carrots. So we didn't have to slice up the carrots. They were already done for us. But we did slice up, um, we did chop up the celery and the onion. And then after that, you add your flour in it, stirring it well until there's no flour remaining. You stir in some heavy whipping cream and that's kind of what it, what gives that, you know, that nice thickness to it. And then you put your chicken broth in, you cook it until it's boiled, stirring often for three to four minutes. Please don't be taking that yet, because I need it. No, I just had a little, I just <laughs> took a little. Then remove it from the heat, you stir in your peas and flat leaf parsley, and then you let it cool. Now here's the one trick that um, they really forewarned against. When you make your filling, you don't want your filling to be hot, because if it goes into a crust, it's gonna make your crust really soggy and really icky. Okay, so that's why that's why we made it up beforehand so it could cool off. You can actually make your filling up to three days before you make a chicken pot pie. The colder it is, the uh, better it will be as to not being runny in your pie. Okay, so that was that was the reason why we cooked it up beforehand, and then I just told him to go and rest his mm -hmm. eyes because he can. He can barely keep that eye open, you guys. He said it's already feeling better with some medicine, but if you ever have an eye infection, you know, at first I thought maybe it was pink eye, and I'm like, I don't know where you got pink eye, because that's quite contagious, and none of us have it. So, <laughs> and this man doesn't go anywhere, okay? He he doesn't go anywhere. He, you mean he's Dad? been hibernating. He's been hibernating for about a year now. <laughs> Why? Literally. Okay, so now we got our next crust ready, and we're gonna go ahead and put the filling in our other pie tin. Scoop it a little for a blooper. Isadora actually tried this already, and she wanted to just keep eating it. And <laughs> I'm like, no, ma'am, <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> what? So definitely making, if you're wanting to make like two pies, two pot pies, you definitely want to double the recipe. This works, this works perfect. So one, if you just make the recipe as is, it will give you one pie, okay? And, and in our house, we're all about leftovers. So... If you are a fan of leftovers in your house also, because we only cook maybe three or four times a week, um, this is the way to go. Always make a little extra so you have some leftover for those leftover nights. We like to have probably two, like two or three leftover nights a week because there's really no point in having to cook every day. You know, you never know what you're gonna run into what the day is going to bring you. So on those days where we're like, man, I really don't feel like cooking. All you have to do is just warm up some leftovers that you had. All right. This crust is a little too thick there. Add a little bit over here. When if you have I little went... spots that need a little extra crust because it's a little thin, you can add a little bit. If you have a section that is a little bit thicker because then it'll be harder to to really cook down. I'm trying to get all this flour in here. All me. right, I'm sorry, boo boo. And then we're just making making our little openings here to allow number one to breathe. Yeah, you allow the crust to breathe to be able to cook. And at the same time, it allows your filling to fill, okay? So now that we have it all put together, then we're place on a do bake for 30 minutes. Okay, great. This, this is fun. Okay. I'm almost done.
There's still a little bit of it. I'm almost done. I just realized on the recipe it doesn't tell us what uh, what temperature to cook it at. So, well, cook it however you want. Well, no. I will look it up. I will look it up. Usually, if I don't know exactly what the temperature is of something, I always start it out at 350. I'm going to turn the oven on and start warming it to 350. Why? And uh, in the meantime, while it's warming up, I'll look it up to see. But you're, uh, you just cook it for about 30 minutes on the bottom rack of your oven, and then you take it out and you let it cool for 15 to 30 minutes before slicing and serving. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. As I said, it's the first time that we are making it. I love pot pie. Um, so I don't have homemade pot pie very often, probably maybe once in my life. So I'm really excited for this. Yeah. I always eat it frozen. So it's okay. We don't need it. You want a drink? It's Diet Coke. It's Diet Coke. You thought it was wine. She thought I had wine in my glass today. I like to drink whatever out of a wine glass, plain and simple. So until our next video, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, be kind. All right, and we'll talk to you guys later. Toodles! <laughs>